Hello, my name is Kane Barlow. I'm a mycologist and fungi educator. I really enjoy sharing knowledge about fungi. They're incredible organisms. They're really quite fundamental to our ecology and they're just beautiful, fascinating organisms. We've been lucky enough to find Amanita phalloides. This is the death cap. This is a very, very poisonous mushroom. It grows in a mycorrhizal symbiosis with oak trees and, and you can see all the oak trees here scattered around it. Uh, it sometimes does get confused with edible species, particularly the straw mushroom. Uh, so here we have the vulva. So this is the remnants of the universal veil. This is the membrane that encloses the entire mushroom as it develops from its primordial state. As it grows, the cap and the stem expand and breaks free from this, this membrane, leaving this cup-like structure. In some cases, this gets washed away in some amanitas, so even though it may have had a vulva, um, it's no longer present. The stem will expand, the cap will then open, and the partial veil that's protecting the gills will then fall away, leaving the partial veil, which is uh, also termed the annulus or the skirt. This is the cap. You can see that kind of yellow that's becoming kind of ever so slightly olive green. Um, and underneath we have the gills, which is this kind of white, slightly creamy, yellowy color. And if we were to look right up underneath, we would see that the gills have a free attachment. So we can see in the reflection here, we have the vulva, which is the remnants of the universal veil. Further up the stipe, you can see the annulus, which is the remnants of the partial veil. And then we have the cap, the pileus, which is this kind of yellow color, slightly turning green color. You can see the gills have this beautiful kind of white to slightly cream color that is typical of Amanita. Learning to identify fungi is daunting to begin with. There are new words to learn and a new visual language to take in as you learn the features. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in knowing more about some of the species mentioned, there are a number of useful videos in the Entheogenesis YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching.